Today I'm going to show you how to animate an object in Blender. Like for example this cube, we will make it go from point A to point B. In this animation tutorial, we will be using the timeline. So let's make it bigger just by a bit. So to animate this cube, make sure first that it is selected and then press I to insert a keyframe and then choose Location Rotation Scale. And you will notice that there is a diamond that appeared in the timeline. Now choose another time in the timeline, say frame 80. Now move your cube to a new position. So let's grab this cube, place it somewhere here. And then once you have placed your object, Press I again to insert another keyframe. Now you will notice that there is another diamond sign here. Now let us change the end of the timeline, say around 100. Let's center the view by just a bit. Let's center the timeline. Now we are ready to run the animation. And as you can see, the cube is now moving from point A to point B. Let's stop the animation. Now in animation, there is an option to turn on auto keying. And with auto keying, you don't need to press the letter I every time you need to make a keyframe. Because auto keying will do it for you. To do auto keying, first uh, let's go to the first frame, then let's turn on auto keying. Now let's move to say frame 20. Now we can do something more interesting with the cube, like for example, let's uh, grab it and move it around like here, and then probably give it some rotation. And as you will notice that auto keying automatically made a keyframe at 20. Now let's choose another frame, say 40, and then let's uh, move the cube again. Then let's go to frame 60, and then let's move the cube again. We can now turn off the auto keying. Now let's play the animation and see what we just did. So that's it. That's the basic of how you animate an object in Blender.